Hi, welcome to Coffee on Couchbase series. We are excited to introduce the cool features in Couchbase Server 4.5 Developer Preview. I am Prasad Varakur from Product Management Team at Couchbase. I will talk about array indexing. To quickly introduce, Couchbase Server is an open source distributed JSON document database with integrated key value store and memory cache. It is architected to deal with SQL and NoSQL needs of modern digital economy applications and it comes with a lighter version for mobile and IoT. Nickel is a sophisticated query language for Couchbase Server with SQL extensions for JSON, for example, to include nested and multi-valued data of JSON. Keyspace is a logical container of JSON documents, which is similar to a group of tables in relational databases. And each JSON document is like a row. In earlier versions, arrays can be indexed, but as one single value. As you can see in this example, all flight schedules information in this array is considered opaquely as one large scalar value. Clearly, this has few undesirable effects. First, we cannot search for finer data in or within the array. Performance is hurt because even if we are interested in only a subset of the array data, whole array is indexed, which takes more index storage space and search time. It is also difficult to query, especially when the array has unknown or large list of values because the whole array value must be specified in the WHERE clause of a SELECT or DML statements. Let's see how array indexing helps. First, it enables visibility into the array structure. So, index can be created on subset of finer array elements or attributes. We can index only required subset of the array and be efficient on index storage and search times. Clearly, benefits are a lot more effectively visible with nested arrays or objects. For example, index created in earlier versions would look like the blue triangle with whole array indexed. But with array indexes in 4.5, only flight attributes within the array can be indexed, which is much more efficient on storage and performance. In summary, array indexing brings performance and ease of querying with arrays. Create index statement has new syntax with the distinct array clause highlighted in bold. This specifies the array elements and attributes to be used as index keys. The array elements can be iterated using the for clause and filtered using the when clause. For example, this statement creates index on first five distinct day values in each element v of the array schedule. All DML statements with a WHERE clause, such as SELECT, UPDATE, etc. can use the array indexes. For example, this SELECT statement finds the total number of flights scheduled on third day of the week. It iterates using the ANY operator to find matching index keys. Note that the DML statement uses the exact array variables and predicates uh, highlighted in red color which are used in the create index statement. This feature has few restrictions in the developer preview release. First, the variable names and index keys such as v and v.day that are used in create index and the DML statements must exactly match. Only the operators distinct, array, any, in and within are supported. For example, all, every, etc. are not supported. Finally, duplicate elements or position information of elements in the array is not stored in the index. Hence, constructs like select schedule or select schedule of four cannot use the array index. This example creates composite index with attributes in the array such as v.flight where v is an array element and non-array attribute such as stops. The select query finds all scheduled flights with one or more stops and groups the result by number of stops. Finally, let's look at an example with nested arrays. Consider the scheduled array in travel sample with the nested array special flights. Note that the create index statement also uses the nested form of distinct array construct to create the index on each distinct special flight in schedule. 
Here is a select statement to find the total number of scheduled special flights which uses the nested array index we created in previous slide. Again, note the nested form of any construct and the use of matching variable names and index keys of the corresponding create index statement. Thank you for watching this video. Here are some references to a wealth of information on Couchbase. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions or need more information. We would love you to try this feature. Happy Array Indexing!